this is Marcus Brown bringing you today's market update. We start with the news that British Chancellor Philip Hammond has given his backing for there to be a transition period for businesses once Brexit negotiations have been completed. The government and the Treasury Committee in particular are coming under increasing pressure from business groups to make sure that the close of Britain's deal to leave the European Union avoids a cliff edge scenario. After this month's election result, the government is in a weakened position and will be forced to listen to other parties when it comes to Brexit talks. Businesses are strongly in favour of retaining access to the single market and overseas talent, and it is widely expected that a softer Brexit deal could emerge once the deal is finalised. In other news, the struggling lender Co-op Bank has been given an unlikely lifeline, as it has emerged that a £700 million bailout deal is close to being agreed. Representatives from bondholders and the country's largest mutual fund held talks over the weekend and a deal could be agreed as early as this week. This week in the markets will heavily focus on Wednesday's Queen's speech and the start of Brexit negotiations, yet there are some notable results set for reveal. House builder Berkeley will release its annual profit results for the year ending April and it is widely expected that the firm will uncover a surge in profits. Pre-tax earnings for the year are forecast to be around the £757 million mark, up from £480 million on last year. Other upcoming results include Costa Coffee owner Whitbread, who will give a trading update, and Hornby will reveal preliminary annual results. Technology shares are expected to recover from their recent drop, as index provider FTSE Russell gives its annual refresh of its benchmarks on Friday. Apple, along with a number of other large cap stocks, will likely see an increase in weighting, potentially pushing above 3%. The rebalancing is seen as a major benchmark for portfolio owners. Thank you for listening.